Okay, hello everyone. All right, so let's talk about the the new line escape character. All right, so an escape character is basically a regular character. It looks like a regular character with a backslash preceding it, meaning it has a backslash in front of that character. So how does it work? I'm going to go ahead and create a print function, and I'm going to display the string tomorrow is another day. All right. So I mentioned that it's re it's a it's a regular character. An escape character is a regular character with a backslash prece preceding it. Now there are you know specific types of escape characters. Not every character is an escape character. Um, so for example, if I place a backslash in front of this n, if indeed the character that follows this backslash is an escape character, it performs a specific function. So if indeed the n the letter n here is an escape character then the backslash and n serves as, as a command, as a, as a command that you are embedding in your strings. Now, these escape characters are characters we, we place into our strings, and if indeed the character that or follows the a backslash is an escape character, it's going to perform a specific function. Again, there are specific types of escape characters, and we'll talk through all of them. In this video, we are talking about the new line escape character, and it happens to be the letter n. Right, so when your program sees a backslash, it's expecting an escape character to follow it. If it's an escape character, again, it's going to perform a specific function. If it's not an escape character, it's going to skip it. All right, so let's see what happens when we place a backslash in front of this n. Again, if this n is an escape character, something happens. The backslash and the n acts; they act as a command, or basically together, it becomes one command and it performs a, spe a specific action. When I run this. We can see that it printed tomorrow is a and as soon as it got here it saw this backslash n and this backslash n is what's called the new line character anytime your program sees a backslash n it breaks from that line basically it creates a new line that's what's called the new line character or the new line escape character it breaks from that line it moves the position from that line over here to the next line and so anything that comes after that backslash n in this case other day is displayed from that next line going. All right. So the backslash n happens to be um, an escape character. N, the letter n here happens to be an escape character if it has the backslash the backslash in front of it. All right. If the escape character is not if the character is not an escape character, then it won't work. Right. So let's see if the letter m is an escape character. If we place a backslash in front of it, again, don't worry. You don't have to test this out to figure out. What are escape characters? We will go through them. We will learn them. N happens to them happens to be one. Backslash N happens to be a new line escape character. And then there are other ones which we'll go through. But from my experience, M is not an escape character. So when I print this, when I run this out, we can see the backslash is displayed in the string as if we wanted to display the string. But over here, it didn't display the backslash because the N that followed the backslash was, an, was a special character, was a special escape character. And when it's an escape character, the backslash and the n it serves as one command and performs you know what it's you know it does what it's supposed to do. In this case, backslash n creates a new line. It breaks from that particular point, moves to the next line. So anything that follows that backslash and in this case other day is displayed from that next line going. All right. So there are several escape characters and we will go through uh, most of them and we'll see how they work. Right. If you wanted to let's say you know, have a print statement like this, and um, you wanted to, you know, yourself, you wanted to actually be explicit and break the line without um, creating another print function or without using the separator or without using the ending um, values, you can embed these, the, you know, these escape characters in your string, and it's going to do that for you. Assuming you wanted to, um, I'm going to take it back to another, another day, or tomorrow's another day. Assuming you wanted to break you wanted to break this line into two well now when i run it it's going to be one line as you wanted to say tomorrow is and you wanted, wanted to have another day on the next line right so you say tomorrow is and right here you'd have your backslash n right after s right and this backslash n is going to act as a as a break it's going to break it and so when i run this you realize you see tomorrow is another day but you see there's a space here that space is this space over here you don't have to, you know, like that space here. So it's basically, this is serving as a, as a line break. 
it's going to break from right from right where you put right where you put that um, escape character it's going to break from here and then anything that follows it in this case we have a space before the string anything that follows it is displayed from that next line going so that space and that string is displayed from that next line going if you didn't want that space you can close it this way and so this here wouldn't be dis displayed as part of the string it's just because n happens to be an escape character this two here is acting as a line break it wouldn't be displayed because it's a special escape character when i run this now we can see that tomorrow is is displayed on one line there's an escape character backslash n which is not displayed but it's acting as a line break and then anything that comes after that is displayed from the next line going another day we'll talk more about escape characters and we'll look up several escape characters we'll see how they are used in programs and we'll have a better understanding of it all right i hope i hope this made sense if you have any questions please comment down below and i'll do everything to respond to them as always thank you very much for watching take care of yourselves and i'll see you next time with the next video all right then bye bye